All right, so hello everybody, welcome to another Path of Exile video, and today I want to share with you my garden design for tier 2, 3, and 4 seeds, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, the main idea behind this garden setup is for it to be as faff free as possible, so that when I'm streaming and I get some tier 2, 3, or even tier 4 seeds, I can just slot them down, fill the rest of this with tier 1 seeds and it's gonna grow. However, it is a bit of a bastard to set up initially because you're gonna have to stockpile a decent amount of tier 2 and tier 3 seeds of each color and you're also gonna have to place down some temporary dispersers. So it's more of a I'm in it for the long run kind of farm, you know, if you intend to farm a lot of tier 2, 3 and 4 seeds. So here's the farm sort of transcribed into the PoE Harvest 3.11 farm template which you can find on Reddit and thank you by the way very much for providing this, it's really awesome. And this is the final version of it, this is sort of what you're gonna build up to as you keep upgrading it. So the way it works is we have three collectors. We have the purple one over here, we have the yellow one over here, and then we have the blue one right there. The range of these, by the way, is highlighted by the thicker borders there, there, and there. Now, each one of the collectors is then surrounded by five dispersers, and the way it ended up working out with my design is I have the yellow ones in the middle of there, there, and there, and then each one has two blue and two purple in sort of a diagonal configuration. And these are here to cover this area, this area, as well as this area in all three types of essence. Now, the most peculiar thing about this design, as you can probably see, is that we have an awful lot of tier 3 seeds outside of the range of the collectors there as well as here and here for the blue and that is deliberate because we never want to harvest these tier 3 seeds because they are there to meet the requirements of the plants we're gonna plant in this area for blue this area for yellow as well as this area for purple. And finally, you can also see there's a bunch of T1 seeds at the back, and these are just filler, because you need a certain amount of seed planted and grown within the radius of the collector to actually initiate the harvest. So if, for example, you only have one tier 4 blue seed, you're gonna put it in the corner right there, and then you fill the back of this with tier 1s, and you can still harvest it. Now, I also transcribed the pylon setup, but, you know, you can just figure this out on your own. This one is very neat and organized, so you just hook everything in together, and it should be fine. Now, the downside of this design is that you can't just do it right off the bat. You will have to build your way up to it. So what you're gonna do if you have, like, no seeds, it's plant tier 1 seeds where the tier 3 seeds are. So here for the yellow, and here for the blue, and you will then start growing tier 2s in the white spots here for the blue, here for the yellow, and here for the purple. And then, once you get enough tier 3s, you will also have to get a stockpile of tier 2s, you can start replacing the tier 1s with tier 3s. However, you will also have to place down a bunch of tier 2s to meet the requirements to first grow the tier 3s, and you will also have to place some temporary dispersers to feed the T3s. But, 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 once it's done and your T3 seeds are grown, you are done. You can rip out all the temporary dispersers as well as the temporary tier 2 seeds, and what you'll be left with is this. A setup that can grow any type or tier of seed at any time without any additional faff. And the way the planting works is, if you only get one seed, you're gonna plant it in the corner, so here or here for the purple, here or here for the yellow, and here or here for the blue, but if you get two or more, you can plant them in a row. And the only other thing you need to do after planting your seeds is just fill the rest of it with T1 so that you meet the requirements for the harvest. That's it. And that's pretty much it as far as the explanation goes. Now the blue one can grow 8 seeds at a time, the yellow one can grow 9 seeds at a time, and the purple one can also grow 9 seeds at a time. Now just to sort of show you that this is actually very simple to put together initially, we're gonna build one together. So what you're gonna need for each one of the cells is one life force collector, you're gonna need five dispersers as well as three pylons. What you're gonna do first is take the life force collector and place it so that there is one space to either side as well as two spaces up front and place it down. You are then gonna take your dispersers and place them around the life force collector going around at the front and you're then gonna go one space away from the collector collection area and you're gonna place down your pylons. And we leave that space in there so that we can plant the seeds around the collector to meet the requirements for the seeds we're gonna place on the inside within the actual range of the collector. And we're only gonna do this on the sides as well as the front because once again the back of this contraption is designed to hold additional T1 seeds to enable the collection. And finally we just need to hook up our pylons which you do like a so, so that you can cover the entire planting area in all three types of essence. And that's it, that's the whole thing done or rather one section of the whole thing done. Also don't forget to turn on your auto disperse. And as always guys I thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it was helpful and I will see you some of the time. Bye-bye.